Hi everybody, this is part two of my OBS Zoom teaching video. To see part one, click on the link below and um, then come on back. Thanks. And that's here on this page here. I'm gonna use these buttons here to make my changes. Um, that's me with the logo video coming down now. Uh, this is um, just me by myself. I can put any background here I want. Uh, this is a Panasonic camera. It's an old uh, video camera I bought when my second kid was bored, and I'm using it now for this paper. And the beauty about doing this is that I can zoom in if I want to get more detail or zoom out. So I have it about here. Next to this camera, I've got an extreme camera. It's a GoPro knockoff, um, perfectly good, a bit cheaper, and I happen to have it here at home. So this is from that, uh, that camera here, which is right here. I'm pointing to it from another camera that I'm recording from over here. So that's the GoPro light camera. This is the Panasonic home video camera. This is the Galaxy Note 4 that's on top of a tripod with a monopod. Um, this is the microphone I'm using that I'm talking to you through OBS. Uh, this microphone here is recording the screen capture from a computer that's sitting over here. Now I have Zoom running so that I'm sending from this computer here that's uh, right in front of me. And here is the Zoom meeting window. So I'm sending out this window down here that's on the bottom and I'm receiving this one back from the top. I have two Zoom accounts running right now. The bottom one is my current computer here and the top window is what I'm getting fed back through Zoom from my second computer that's sitting over here to the side. Uh, clicking through these buttons again, I have the extreme a little bit further away. Um, I've got these, this two, this close-up thing here where I have the Panasonic here in this window. Uh, I'm sorry, they're both lighting up, aren't they? So I have the Panasonic, the larger one in the blue square, and then the uh, extreme is up here in the upper left corner. And if I switch the other one with a wider shot, it just si simply switches the two cameras. Uh, here's the slideshow with all these pictures. And the slides are loaded here on this page. And I did the slides like so. I right click here and go to properties. And these are all the files that are part of the slide. So I can bring in any picture I want from my hard drive and show them. Uh, and that's how they'll show up there. So I just have to go into here and I'm going to press a button on my iPad to go to the next slide. So these are slide advancement buttons. And I'm doing this from the iPad through a program called Touch Portal, uh, which is very similar to Stream Deck, uh, which is a thing that has real buttons, but this is a software solution. So Touch Portal. And let me switch to that camera, uh, to the you know, iPad scene. Here's what Touch Portal looks like. And if I press one of these buttons, it's gonna go away because it's automatically in there. But you know, let me go to a different screen. So I can be, uh, clicking on different buttons here, and they'll do different things. Okay. But I have this program to this one, so the next time I press on Slideshow Next, it's gonna change the slideshow, but I'm not looking at the slideshow itself. So I'll go to the slideshow, next, next, next. I can go to a Restart Slideshow, and then Next, and Next, and Next. Okay, so that's how that's done. That is using OBS with uh, Touch Portal and into Zoom, feeding over into an external source. A slightly abrupt ending. I hope you liked it. Please subscribe and like and click on the bell so you know when I post the next videos. To install OBS, check out this video up here. To install the virtual camera drivers so you can use cell phones, check out this video. Have a good day.